Yo, so I haven't done one of these videos for a long time because I've been having tons of clients and uh, yeah, I've been just super busy, like uh, in a good way. I've had a, a Crystal Mirror Space experience client, so I've been doing a bunch of private concerts, which is what I do. Um, and yeah, they kick my ass, like, and they're great, you know, but since I take... I don't exactly take requests, but I do in the sense that I tell people that they can give me their favorite music and then I claim and, you know, execute <laughs> to, you know, like I uh, basically say I'll do something customized. I'll do my best. I just say I'll do my best because I never know what the hell they're going to ask for. And I always find a way to make it make it cool because it's always for the most part, it's cool. It's, it's always like people are giving me their favorite music. so. There's be all sorts of random gems in there, you know, like it could be a song that I used to like and haven't thought of in a super long time, or it could be something I haven't heard of or whatever. But um, sometimes it's pop type stuff that I might have avoided. But for instance, tomorrow my client is coming. Um, she's coming from San Jose and it's just her by herself, which is, you know, occasionally that's the case where they come by themselves. And um, she uh, asked for a bunch of artists a lot of DJs, a lot of random stuff. But one artist that she asked, which I was very glad for, was she asked for um, the song Take On Me by AHA, which is a 80s classic, right? And so I was glad, because that was like, you know, one of the songs where I learn it, but like I'm learning it for me too, because I love that song. Um, or well, when you remake it, it becomes it's a whole other energy, but it's, it's pretty magical. Like the actual composition, now that I've actually gotten into it and it's got three distinct parts it modulates you know so it, it changes keys and then does like wacky stuff and then comes back to the the main theme and this is a beautiful melody you know um it was tougher than i thought because uh it was um for instance during the chorus when the singer makes the uh he go he's goes up the octaves and my micro chord only has two and a half octaves so he goes up like for or like point is it's it's nutty but as i'm singing it with a with a vocoder when i'm switch when i switch from the a to the b part you know the sample the loops i have on the on one pedal versus the other so i have to switch over but immediately simultaneously um pitch down the vocoder to do the whole sequence he does where he goes take on me and he's going up high until a very high note you know so to start from that low to get that high not only do i have to pitch it down but halfway you know and do that low verse then immediately pitch it back up continue up until the high note so it takes a hell of a lot of practice it's really easy to forget to pitch it down or pitch it down but then forget to pitch it up and then and then simultaneously switch to the next part and already be like singing the next it was hard it was great i mean it, i'm super glad though because this is just such a blessing because it takes so much takes so much work to to do these and to realize that like that's why i work so hard at it too because i'm like man i'm stoked but it's no joke like it takes so much repetition like this that's just one of many songs i'm doing so i'm also doing shape of you by ed sheeran and uh I made this dope version with um with the drums from Mor this uh, producer called Morehouse. He has a song called Rough No Morehouse, and I think he has a song called R Rough Times, or maybe Rough House. I don't know. Rough something R U F F. Um, but I blended. I took those drums and now over that I played Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. It's dope. But learning it this quick is kind of crazy, you know? Like, cause it, right away I'm like having a listen to the original and play and sing along playing the part on the keyboard on the vocoder and so it's been um it's good but this crazy ass pressure is like i know i can do it but damn it gets exhausting after hours of doing it i'm just like uh, i'm going crazy i think i got it oh no i messed up oh fuck do it again you know oh and another thing is i uh recently um installed um so i did my floors in my car i got this mirror like this i kind of like um linoleum mirrored linoleum type fabric and i you know um put with the clear vinyl over it on the car on the floors 
and then I got uh, LED lights, like strips on both sides now. I started yesterday, I did one side yesterday. So this is what it looks like, it's really kind of fly. So that's the floor, that's like the LED strips along the way, and then it goes to the back. But you can't really tell because I have it wired so that it's it's a, um, a rechargeable battery in the back that's charging it, it you know, it, um, it's not even the car. And then, uh, I have it on this side, so what happened here? What? This one just went out, I just realized. So I'm gonna fix that right quick. Why is that one out? But did I, I can't. Okay, so I just installed these, so. Okay, let's see what happened. Let's see, I don't think it's the battery. I think I think what it was, was I pulled on one of the, on one of these um, strips of uh, sequin. Ah, okay, right here. Huh. Boom. Alright. So it's back. So this is what it looks like. Right. Alright. And then uh yeah, it's um it's pretty dope. I'm digging it. I'm loving it, yeah. It's uh tonight I'll see it in the darkness. Like it's you know it's on 720 but it's not that dark out so it's cool it's a cool little detail but at night this thing pops you know what i'm saying um so yeah so i'm getting ready for these next two clients uh tomorrow's thursday i have that one client and then saturday i have a couple meaning like a you know client is like a, a husband and wife and the wife is getting it as a surprise for her, her husband but she gave me a trippy list too but for that one fortunately she said fleetwood mac and uh i did fleetwood mac for someone for two people like yeah they mentioned fleetwood mac so so yeah so it's all about that song dreams so that was lovely to learn that one i do it over a house beat and it's just it's cool and then they said a few more, oh yeah they said santo gold so i already do the song um starstruck by santi gold and uh, then they said some, oh, it's crazy. So they said, um, they said, then this is really interesting, Strawberry Fields, but not, but it's not the version by the Beatles. It's this other artist called Janice. Doesn't even have that many YouTube followers, right? <laughs> and like, so I look it up. And so I guess that's pretty smart, right? It's like, rather than, it's like someone's looking up Strawberry Fields forever, but they just put Strawberry Fields. So it's like, but no, nah, I like, Whatever, so there's already named Janice, so it's, I can do it, and I'll have all of Friday, and they're coming Saturday, and I guess it's, or even tomorrow night after I'm done with this client, I'll have to, like, come back and start figuring it out for the next one, so that the next day I'm not starting from zero and trying to cram it all, and then, you know, it's just a lot of work, um, but it's pretty, it's very, I feel very blessed, I feel very blessed, you know, because it's like I'm getting to play constantly, but, like, grad school level, of time expenditure and energy and consistency and like it's making me better and it's it's cool you know um and i'm digging this this whole transformation in in the crystal mirror spaceship you know it's uh oh what it was with my friend bomb snacks she had asked me if um we could do a she could do a music video in, in my car for this really dope song she's a dope vocalist like she's a a really good mc and her lyrics you know were really dope and so but then it turned out it fell through she she wasn't able to make it but either way like i'm always trying to upgrade and add more stuff more lights more you know this is a hat i made a while ago like a year ago with this is just mirrored mylar and then like just some shapes out of it uh so yeah i gotta get I gotta get up there. So now I'm, it's about 7:20 something, and uh, I'm probably gonna practice till m at least midnight. I'm gonna try not to go too late because I don't want to be hella tired tomorrow. That shit is rough, yo. I'm gonna have to be practicing throughout the day. It's gonna be crazy, but it's gonna be good. So by by midnight tonight, I'm gonna have to have something pretty solid because I'm definitely gonna put hours in tomorrow. So. You know, I put in the work for my clients, and this client was a trip because she booked it like a month ago, month and a half ago, to do it like a month and a half ago. But 
she wasn't able to make it. Then she said, oh, let's just do it in April. And I was like, sure, no problem. But damn, it came and uh, she hit me up last week. It was like, oh, can we do it this Thursday? I was like, oh, yeah, let's do it. In my mind, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll nail that. But no, I always know it's going to be a lot of work, you know, but it's, it's, it's great, you know. I really love it. So I'm about to go on an epic journey and yeah, talk soon.